Dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here today to join Harrison and Mackenzie in the spiritual union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Please remember that love, loyalty, and understanding are the foundations of a happy and enduring, enduring home. <laughs> to my new best friend. Sorry, Brandon. <laughs> I love you so much, and it's hard to put into words what, I've, what I truly want to say. You're in my absolute world, and I can't imagine not being with you. You're the best part of my day, and then sometimes I even remind myself that if you're not, it's probably because it's my own fault. <sighs> Mackenzie, I promise to love you unconditionally no matter what, and always will for us and our future family. I promise to always give 100% in everything I do, and I hope to make you proud every day for the rest of our lives. I love you. Today, surrounded by people who love us, I choose you, Harry, to be my partner. I am proud to be your wife and to join my life with yours. And I vow to support you, push you, inspire you, and above all, love you for better or for worse. In sickness and health, for richer or poorer, just as long as you give me lots of babies. <laughs> gotcha. Do you, Harrison, take Mackenzie to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and woe, for richer or for poorer, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> and do you, Mackenzie, take Harrison to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, <laughs> for richer or for poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live. Okay. By the power vested in me by American Marriage Ministries and the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Harrison, you may kiss your beautiful bride. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce everybody to Mr. and Mrs. Harrison Bennett. 